Hi everybody, this is Eternal Dark Mirko, and we're going to go into Wukong the Monkey King. Now, on the forums, we have a lot of yay and nays. I say yay. Why? Because he's semi-tanky and fun, and if you build him right and has just a little bit of strategy, you too can enjoy him. So, slap on the Typedo. Why the Typedo is a blade staff, and it's also based off of monk design. So, monk, monkey, I thought it worked. So, Prime to Reach, Organ Shatter, and Berserker are the three kind of keys here. Why? Because Organ Shatter is going to buff up your damage, not just on the Typedo, but also here on the ultimate of Wukong. And the, the Reach just makes it that much more fun. Believe me, because this guy is all about range when you get your ult up after doing a whole bunch of kills and damage. So, Corrosive Heat, you can set it up for Corrosive Cold, but I always kind of go with Corrosive Heat on this one. Corrosive Cold in case I have, you know, enemies with shields. Now, if we're going to do a basic calculation, 900 times 3.8 is roughly 3,420. So, with that, you calculate it with 1.5 times 1,500. That's like 2,240. I'm doing this off the top of my head. Guys, you can calculate that out however way you want. With that actual calculator, I'm doing this with, you know, my brain. Between the two, you've lost a thousand if you did not have organ shatter. Why do I put organ shatter? Because this thing crits like crazy. It hits so fast. You don't even need fury, okay? It's gonna crit, it's gonna berserk, do faster damage, and do more. Now we put on the furious. Why? Because I don't use secondaries. Why don't I use secondaries? Because they're not that useful for me. Now, if we're using the furious, which is our HP, and we've got the heck or the Vacor heck. This is a basic template, and if you had the normal heck, you just slap in the mod from Steel Meridian here. So, I have not formed this at all. This is right off the bat what this one looks like and how I can set it up. With just one little Aroken whatever installed, then you just go there, go from there. It's really strong, it covers critical and status. You're doing a whole lot of puncture and a whole lot of, you know, just status right there. Take that as you will, I set this up this way to cover my basis. The normal heck is here, that's how much it is. Remember, you must have the Steel Meridian, Augment, Pod, whatever on this to make it decent. At least in my point, or to at least match this. The two are very equivalent. Now let's go into Wukong itself. Let's check out the, this without mods. So without mods, that's your stats. Now let's slap on mods. Not the difference, it does a pretty good amount. I feel. And it makes him rather fun. So we've got this. We got rejuvenation. We got rage. So that's plays into my strategy with him. And you know, for shields, you don't even really need shields. This guy has a pretty good decent amount of shields. Well, just for kicks, let's rip this one off and show you how much damage he's got. There we go. The shield without that and with that. It's a good buff with just an unranked, you know, redirection. I think if you form him once and then slap on a higher redirection, you're golden. You're a tank. You can take whatever. I was building this without Forma for those of you who, if you just got him and just barely put that reactor on him or catalyst or whatever, you want to be able to play him and have fun. So this is my way to do it. Now let's go test this guy out. The only annoying thing on console, and I'm not sure if PC are having this issue too, but on console your glowy little things here are also not matching. Not sure why. See? One's blue, and I went for yellow power. Strange. Let's simulate this. So let's test this guy out. First off, I think I did good on the colors. What do you think? This is a tribute to Dragon Ball Z. I did yellow power for Super Saiyan, and black and orange for Goku, or Turtle Hermit School, whatever. I'm gonna put five of these enemies, we're gonna buff them up to 65. Why? Because... we can. And overall, it's roughly about what you're gonna... most people are always gonna question, did it survive a really high level enemy? Yes. Can you? Yes. So let's go test out the heck in the Taipedo. The Taipedo, as we all know, is a very nasty weapon. I was trying the first power, notice I didn't reach. It's usually more close range that I can tell with that power. Well, this is why the Taipedo is feared as a super ore. Now we're going to use the heck if I could shoot the shotgun. Right. 
anything to save my life. But anyway, if I'm kind of mid-range here, I even can't miss. So those of you who are shotgun savvy, I think you guys do pretty well with this. Either heck. Now, I'm going to summon up an enemy, and we're going to test out the first power. The first power summons forth a the magic pole, and you hit them in the face with it, or, you know, center mass. I call it giving them the shaft. Ha uh ha. -huh. And this is why I hate you guys. There, first hit. Now let's check out how much damage I did. That did a good amount of damage. Look, one more hit. So really, if I buffed up damage on this just a little bit, with, you know, like, Prime didn't intensify, not even sure that exists, or does it? Hmm. Anyway, your second power keeps you alive. How? When you're about to die and you have the second power active, it instantly gives you a little buff of health. So the Rage Regen build, getting your HP back really quick helps. Now we're going to test out Primal Fury. Please note the length of the staff right off the bat. Now we're going to do some basic hits. And you all know why I hate these guys. That's why I like killing them. Now look, my HP is low, I've been hurt. I use the right trigger combo hits, namely because, as you see, I just kind of decimated those guys in a couple of seconds. And no, this is not really taking them a shout, and I have the second power active. So with the second power active, and you just doing this, monkeying around, you can take out some enemies at a decent range. And remember, per enemy kill, this staff is going to keep getting bigger. You can try this with um, extended reach or whatever and see how that works. But I always like the right trigger hit because it does that kind of ground slam. It's basically a semi like the jack attack when you do a slam. So it can definitely be used for crowd control, damage. And every hit you're doing is stunning the enemies. So I am hit them and they can't move. Now you just shred through them. Oh look, I hit that guy through a wall on my way when I'm doing a spin hit like that. I'm gonna beat you to death with a staff. I think we got rid of him all already. That's so sad. I was having fun monkeying around. I mean, look how fast that thing hits. And if you're berserking like I was, this is gonna keep hitting faster. Oh, uh, hypnotic. Anyway, so let's put some more enemies on and do another little test. This is going to test the third power. Now, what is the third power for? This is where I would say the strategy of a Rage Regen build kick in. You want to get a little hurt. Just so you can get enough of your power. And then you become a cloud. Why? Because as a cloud, look, they're using the little claw thing and it's not hurt. Now, if I pop out, they can hurt me. So when you're in this cloud, you're constantly getting HP and your shield's back. Also, you can fly and get to places that are high. Ha ha ha. And then pop up with the Typeedo and do stealth hits like crazy with criticals and just, just scare your friends. This is why I said this is a fun build. I always try to make my Warframes fun for myself and others. So using this attack, you can just shred through them at this staff or pull out the Primal Fury. Either way, you're doing damage. And note how fast your HP is going back up. It's relatively decent. If you can't block, don't know what to say. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped, my friends.